Hello and welcome to another episode of Anything Arduino. Um, this is the third part of our seven segment LED display connection walkthrough. And today we're going to build this. Uh, we're going to connect the seven segment LED with a 74HC595. Um, the circuit you see here, it's a shift register and uh, as you can see on the Arduino, there, this means that we can connect one or ten or a hundred of these with just three pins and uh, and power. Uh, so this is the most elegant solution so far I've seen, uh, especially if you want to connect many. Uh, it does, however, uh, require quite a lot of. Uh, binary counting again so we're going to look into that again uh, but uh, first things first let's connect this we start by taking a look at the output pins of the 595 and we see it has the same Q 0 through 6 as uh, the 4511 has and these pins are uh, from 0 to 6 are the ones that you're supposed to connect to the LED A through G. So once again uh, this will be A, B, C, D, E, F and G of the LED display. So let's start by connecting them. there a bit crammed in there hope you can fo did follow the pins anyways and as has been done in all the other connect uh, connections to the common A node we connect the common A node pin to 5 volts we also connect the 595 to 5 volts and ground. Now we need to connect three pins to the Arduino and we use the first three pins two through four so pin number two is going to be the latch pin or STCP. Pin 3 is going to be the data pin. Pin 4 is going to be the clock pin. Connected to SHCP or pin 11 on the 595. We also need to do some local uh, connections on the 595. We need to connect the OE pin uh, 13 to ground uh, OE stands for uh, output enable and uh, output enable is uh, its output is enabled when uh, that this pin 13 is low so it's always enabled when we do this you can put, turn it on and off but it's easier to do it like this we will also connect the MR master reset pin or pin 10 to plus uh, plus voltage or plus 5 in this case. So this is our circuit all connected and ready to go. Uh, let's go through how to send numbers to the 7 segment LED display using a 595. So now we're back in binary counting land and uh, the 595, if you remember how the 4511 worked, we had four bits in parallel that we 
sent the numbers 0 through 9 uh, to those four bits uh, and the first bit uh, as you can see here this is the four, uh, first bit bit it is worth 1 and the second bit can be up to 2 4 and so on you you see all the numbers along the line here um, so but with a shift register you do it in serial instead and so you you send the the value of uh, the, you, you will send the values in these two columns depending on if you have a common anode or a common cathode uh, uh, LED display so uh, since I have a common anode if I want to draw a zero I will uh, I will send 64 to the to the 595 this will in turn uh, come on a node is the green one and here you will see that 64 you that means that we it will only and we have a common a node so 0 means that the LED is on and a 1 means that it's off and this in turn will mean that uh, we will turn off the G LED which is the one in the middle which means that we will get a zero like so uh, so it's we still need to do a lot of counting and if you want to you can use the uh, diagram I've done here uh, it is both for common cathode and common anode the uh, the respective Num number that you need to send to get the LED to write 0 through 9. So uh, with this let's go into the program and uh, see what we can do there. So the main command we're going to use in this sketch is the shift out command. Uh, this one takes uh, the data pin where we send the data the clock pin and then you need to choose MSB first or MSB last and that MSB stands for most significant bit so most significant that means the highest valued bit uh, so in this case uh, the 64 bit is sent first and uh, while the other bits come uh, afterwards it pushes the that bit to the end and that's uh, if you look at this diagram again uh, you will see that uh, G is 64 uh, and that's the most significant bit which is in the end so uh, the G uh, the LED uh, had we done it M MSB last, uh, it would have begun with a 1, and we would have completely different results. So, using MSB first, and we write 64, which will be the value that we send to the data pin, uh, which will be a 0 because 64 is only the last bit of the uh, of the eight, of the seven bits it's only the last bit of the seven bits that is high which it means that uh, g is turned off the g led on the common a node led display is turned off so a zero as we i've explained many times now so Hope you understand this. So let's write the program. We are going to need three pins. The latch pin. And that's the one connected to STCP or pin 12 on the 595. And then we have the data pin. Set that to three. 
pin 14 on the 595 and we need the clock pin which is pin 11 on the 595 let's do a setup here Now, in the loop, we're going to need to do a couple of things. So, let's begin by uh, writing a zero. So first we need to uh, set the latch pin low. Uh, this is to avoid uh, fluttering of the LEDs when you send data so and then we write the shift out command just like we wrote before and 64 for the zero And we set the latch pin high, which means that it will send this data to the uh, output ports, Q ports. Let's delay this second. And let's do the number one as well. So if we look at our diagram, we see that a1 on a common A node will be 121 which is just the B and C that is low and all the others are high. Had you had a common cathode you would have sent the send 6 and get the same number. So, but we have a common A node, so we need to send 121. Let's uh, take a look at this and see so it works. So let's upload this. Oops, sorry, I forgot to close my loop. Quite important. and it will just switch between a 0 and a 1 so we're on the right path let's continue down with it and see all the other numbers So let's upload this sketch now with all the numbers and make sure that it looks correct. There, 
perfect we have all the numbers again and this with a whole lot less code than any of the other ways and uh, well once you get this uh, diagram figured out it is really fast to uh, to set numbers on the LED segment uh, or seven segment LED display um, one thing that I should know this word by now since I've said it like a hundred times in the past three episodes or something anyway um, with this diagram uh, it's really fast to uh, control uh, seven segment LED displays so with this uh, let's move on to something else uh, I've realized during these three episodes that there is a lot more to talk about uh, when it comes to LEDs um, but I think I want to do something else for a while now so uh, see you uh, in the next episode take care bye